Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. When I first became a video game collector, there was always one thing on my mind that one day I wanted to get, and that was an arcade cabinet. How cool would that be to have in your house by all the rest of your games? Only one problem. Those things are kind of expensive. Even the used ones can be kind of pricey. And you never know what you're going to get, what kind of condition they're going to come in. Well, when I first started watching YouTube as far as collectors go, the first channel I came across was Metal Jesus Rocks. And he had a video on there of him making his own meme cabinet. And I'm sure that a lot of you have seen it. But him and Drunken Master Paul pretty much went out and bought, I think, a $200 old centipede cabinet. Now it was broken, but all they were interested in was the cabinet. They took all the insides out, sanded it down, painted it, put a new monitor in it, and a computer to emulate all these arcade games. And ever since then, I always had my mind on doing something like that, but I was never quite sure on how to do it. I would go online and in this area as far as Marketplace on Facebook and look for a used cabinet for cheap. And to be honest with you, I don't think I ever found anything under 500 bucks, even the broken ones. So I kind of put it on the back burner. And then one day on another channel, uh, Nintendo, he actually made from scratch a cabinet that was a dock for his Nintendo Switch. And it got me thinking, I'm pretty sure I can do something like this. And last summer, I think it was last summer, I decided I'm going to do this. And I spent a good part of a month putting this thing together. Now, I'm going to let you know, it's not perfect by any means. In fact, I'm still always kind of working on it, and I think as long as I have it, I'm always going to be tweaking stuff about it and trying to improve the games and the interface and whatever else I have going on there. But I figured, you know, there's a lot of people out there that might find this interesting to see the kind of journey I went on and me not really being a handy guy, what I was able to put together. So sit back and relax, and let's check out the machine behind me and talk about the journey that I went on to put this thing together. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there she is, my arcade cabinet, homemade by yours truly. Now, I know she's not perfect. That's fine. This is what I can do. And I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to, you know, make her look a little bit prettier. But, you know, you understand what's going on here. When you come downstairs, uh, you know, a lot of people don't even know that I made it. It's also the reason why, uh, even though in the picture it looks brighter over here, she's kind of in a dark corner. In my, it's a lot darker over there than what the, the picture shows. So, you know, hide all the sins that I made on her. So what you're actually looking at here is a cabinet that I made with the intent of putting one of these Pandora boxes in. And if you don't know what a Pandora's box is, basically it comes with uh, a little case with two joysticks on it and the six button uh, controls. And inside this box is a little computer and LED lights sometimes to you know make it look kind of fancy. And on this computer it has, it runs uh, like an emulator and it plays all of these different ROMs. Now, these things come out of China. These things, no two are alike. And the quality of them is, it can vary. Just like each one. They may look alike, you may get one that looks exactly like another, but what is inside of it is could be different, and the games on it could be different. And that's another thing too, if you guys wanna pick one of these things up, you gotta understand that you are gonna, dis it's like throwing darts at a dartboard on what games you're gonna get in it. 
okay and you usually get from about 800 to 2000 but even when they have a list of what games come with it i wouldn't necessarily trust that that's what you're gonna get and even with that being said not all the games are gonna be great games and not all the games are gonna run necessarily the right way they may run too fast or they may just the sound might be off but so far my experience has been pretty positive with it and all the games on there I got like 800 so there's plenty of games that I can pick out to play that are fantastic and you can make your own playlist so you can kind of weed those games that really aren't playing good or just aren't good games you can weed those out and you're still gonna have a ton of games and the last thing uh, for the Pandora's box is where can you get them they are everywhere um, tons of websites sell them Amazon sells them uh, eBay sells them and they're gonna range anywhere from I would say 170 to 250 maybe it depends on which one you get it, like I said it, it's such a crapshoot on what you're gonna get I think I spent 150 on mine at the time and you know I mean I just wanted to have a stand-up cab in my basement and you know with 800 games on it I don't care what comes on it you know you know you're gonna get something out of it that you want to play so you know they're not a bad investment I think for the most part so besides the Pandora's box being hooked up there I also found out that you could hook a Raspberry Pi up to the back of it because the back actually has uh, USB ports. You hook the Pandora's box up to the TV, the monitor, through HDMI, and I think there's like a VGA connection as well. But when you take and hook uh, the USB cable from your Raspberry Pi to the uh, Pandora's box, it acts like a uh, like a controller so the thing of it is is I haven't quite figured out yet how to make it two uh, players it's you would think it would be just put two cords on there and you're fine but it's not there are ways to do it I just have not been able to do it yet I don't know why I just I'm probably doing something wrong but anyway so yeah I have a Raspberry Pi back there and the reason why I did that also is because a lot I wanted to play a lot of the arcade classic games and the ones that come on the uh, the Pandora's box a lot of them don't run that well like Pac-Man runs really fast now that's just on my Pandora's box on another one it may run fine but for some reason a lot of them on there weren't running well which was funny because you would think that would be those games would be the ones that'd be easiest to emulate on there so that's and there and there wasn't as many as I wanted there was ones that were missing so I'd always wanted to mess around with the Raspberry Pi and you know and retro Pi and so I did and it works pretty well I know there's a way to open up the Pandora's box and wire in the retro Pi and I might do that I haven't decided yet um, I'm not that technically proficient with stuff like that but I might give it a shot so as for the sound of this whole thing it's actually quite easy I took an old set of computer speakers that I had two speakers and a subwoofer and that's what I'm using uh, you can see here that um, I have the subwoofer and the uh, power cord uh, down below and that stays covers up covered up and you still can hear the subwoofer pretty good I think this is a good way to do it um, I do want to make it more of an authentic machine one day but for now it's perfect for me all right guys well thanks for tuning in I'll see you later bye bye